Welcome back everyone to another tutorial video where today I'll be showing you how to test your vacuum pump. A few things you'll need are a vacuum pump and a vacuum gauge. Do make sure that it is a vacuum gauge and not an air pressure gauge for an air pressure gauge or anything else of the sort will not work for this test. Go ahead and make sure to put an adapter as well as a vacuum hose or, or just any hose onto your vacuum gauge. Once you have that done, go ahead and turn your vacuum gauge on. There we are. And make sure to zero it out so it resets. Once that's done, go ahead and plug your vacuum gauge into the pump via the hose. And there we go. Once that's done, go ahead and turn your vacuum pump on by plugging it into any outlet. Once the vacuum turns on, it will immediately start pulling vacuum and you will get a digital readout on your vacuum gauge. Go ahead and record your digital readout onto a sticky note or a piece of paper so that you have it in a safe place. So let's go over what the numbers actually mean. A perfect vacuum, which is is considered 29.6 inches, which is space, basically. Uh, a good pump will typically read anywhere from 27 to 29 inches. On my pump, you saw, was 28.9, which is really good. If your pump happens to read below 27 inches, you might want to consider either having your pump get looked at to get repaired or possibly replacing the pump entirely. Alright, and that's it for this video. You can go ahead and reset your vacuum gauge so that and turn it off for next time. Um, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you have any other questions or inquiries, you can go ahead and email me or give us a call, and I will put our contact info in the description as well as our information for our website. Again, thank you very much for watching, and adios!